Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the price of smallest market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, August 31st, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you are going to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button in the bell button to see our newest videos. And we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have been it has been quite bearish over the last few uh, trading days. We ran into massive resistance here at the top of the bullish band and it broke towards the uh, basically support down here at the 50 moving average. If you look at the MACD, we can see the MACD is bearish, the CASIC is bearish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So if the 50 basically holds, which it looks like it is, is doing at this point, then it's very likely that we'll turn around here and head back towards the upside. Break below the 50 moving average, then we have the 300 down here at the 92.13, and the 200 moving average all the way down here at 91. But... At this current stage, it looks like the trend is changing and this is going to bounce off the 50 and gradually grind back to the previous layer levels that we saw prior to um, this massive drop after the coronavirus. So let's look at oil. So oil is um, looking really interesting. It was very bearish um, at the beginning of uh, or basically when Asia opened. It fell quite drastically. The same goes for natural gas, and it fell even further. But uh, most of this rally here was basically due to the storm news, and uh, that is basically over. And um, at this current stage, it kind of looks like we are going to drop back down when we get towards the 50 moving average. But that is to be seen. Uh, if you look at this, we need to basically break above this uh, trend, trend here, which is right at the top of the bullish band. If we break above the 50, then we need to go past this trend line. And that is roughly at 70, which is an area that we need to break above in order to go back to, to basically go and test 80. But uh, my fear here is that we rally up towards the 50 or this trend line, and then we fall back towards the 200 when we average. But as to be seen... Uh, MACD is bullish, Stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas rallied all the way up towards uh, 4.507 and then dropped all the way down to the previous highs here, which is roughly at 4.222, and then rallied yet again. So if you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, Stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is flat. So Storm is over, and I wouldn't be surprised if this fell back towards support down here at the 20 exponential and the 50 moving average before uh, going higher. Um, this just got way out of hand, and um, yes, it went parabolical, and then it kind of needs to come back to reality. So let's look at copper. So copper also had a good day. We have rallied up towards the top of the Bollinger Band and we got all the way down up towards the previous highs here, roughly at 4.4 and then gave most of those gains back. We're still above the 50 moving average, which is a positive sign. MACD is bullish, the Kasik is bullish and so is the RSI. And as long as we are above the 50, then we are going to trend higher. So let's look at gold. So US dollar has been uh, depreciating and we can see that effect here. This has been rallying uh, and as, long, as soon as the US dollar starts to appreciate again, this will most likely tumble and break below the 20, 200 moving average. We open the door to the 50 and then break below the middle of the bullish band. Then this could tumble all the way down to the very 1731. MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. Break above the 300 moving average, then we could go all the way down up towards the 1900 uh, level and probably all the way up to 2000. So let's look at silver. So silver is uh, still struggling here at the 20 exponential. It's very similar here. US dollar starts to depreciate, uh, appreciate, and this will start to tumble again. We need to have a green candlestick above the middle of the bullish band in order to go towards the 50. MACD is bullish, the casting is bullish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. We have seen this several times before. Try to rally above the 20 exponential breakdown every single time. So, yes, break below this, and then we can tumble all the way down towards the $20 range. So, let's look at platinum. 
So platinum, very similar here. We have been rallying up towards the 20 exponential breakdown, rally, breakdown, rally, breakdown. It kind of looks like we're we have at least a double bottom here at the moment, but 20 exponential is still a uh, moving average where we have not managed to break above for several weeks now. MACD is still bullish. Stochastic is bullish on the RSI is flat at this point. So if we can make a um, support or basically the bottom here, then this could be turning around and we could be going and testing the 50 moving average. But uh, the crossing gear of the 50 and the 200 moving average suggests at least that we are going to see a market that will tumble for the foreseeable future. So let's look at Pallium. So Pallium has rallied up towards the 20 exponential and it kind of does these moves. It has these massive breaks down, rallies, breaks, rallies, breaks, and so on. And we have no pullback at the end of the session, which is a fairly good sign. We have a crossing here of the uh, 20 uh, oh, of the MACD and uh, that is a uh, bullish sign. The classic is bullish and the RSI is bullish as well. Break above the 20 exponential, then we have the 200 moving average up here at 25, 30, uh, 58, and the 50 moving average here at 26, 30. So if we break below this candlestick here or the bottom here, then we could go all the way back towards the previous lows here, or roughly 22.15. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium has rallied significantly to the upside 2684 uh, and then gave all of those gains back still significantly overstretched here above the uh, bullish band only a 65 in the rsi but other indicators are very bullish and usually this tends to fall back towards the middle of the bullish band or the 50 moving average roughly 25 uh, 21 is still in this really nice uptrend and every time it goes uh, parabolical as we have seen here it tends to pull back to support before going higher. So let's look at nickel. So nickel is still in this uptrend and uh, it has rallied up towards the 20 exponential. It had found support at the bottom of the Bollinger Band and also the 50 moving average. And at this point, it kind of looks like it's going to go and retest the previous highs up here at uh, roughly 20K, hopefully. So MACD is still bearish, the casting is still flat, and the RSI is flat as well. But still a nice uptrend, massive moves, but still go gradually going higher. So let's look at sugar. So sugar also rallied today, got towards the previous high zero of the uh, 0 0.20. D24. MACD is still bearish. The classic is bullish and the RSI is bullish as well. If we break above here, then we may go towards the top of the range here, roughly at 2082. A breakdown from here, 20 moving average has offered support and so has the 50 moving average. So let's look at cotton. So cotton is kind of hanging in the middle of nowhere. Pull back a little bit today, but 20 exponential has offered support in the past. It's trading at 0 0.9368 and the 50 moving average down here at uh, roughly 90.31. MACD is turning around, becoming bearish. The Castic is bearish and the RSI is bearish as well. So we may, may test the uh, 20 exponential before going higher. So let's look at Cocoa. So Kokoa has uh, pulled back towards the support at the 20 exponential, rallied, and now yet again pulled back and then rallied. So kind of looks like 20 exponential is holding. If we break below the 20, then the 200 moving average comes into play, and then the 50 at the bottom of the Bollinger Band. So, so we have been here before. Um, we saw this move here. We saw this move here. And uh, yes, every single time this market seems like it's going to take off for an upward trend, it just well, it just completely falls apart and the same for here and here. So it is a weird terror. It's actually a horrible market trade. Uh, but uh, if you like the volatility, then this is definitely the market for you. If we look at the MACD is bearish, the classic is bearish and the RSI is flat. So momentum is to the downside, even though we have had this massive rally to the upside. So let's look at wheat. 
So it has a rally today and then gave all of those gains back, ending up in red and just above the middle of the bullish band. So yes, it has been struggling. And at this current stage, a break below the 20, opens the door to the 50, down here at 690, and then the 200 moving average and the 300 moving average, which should be basically the bottom of this market as we bounce from there. We can see that the MACD is bearish, the CASIC is bullish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So, hope you found this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and good luck, and thank you very much.